Hi, how you all doing there today? If you haven't been over to Drone Menace page on Facebook, slip over there, add yourself. It's a US group. Uh, a gentleman called Dan, um, he's really, really nice, and uh, he runs that group. So slip over and say good day to Drone Menace. I'm sure they'll love to have you and talk FPV. All right, so uh, now what I was going to talk about today, this here is the box of heat shrink and this one here is from AT FPV so now it's a bit of an odd size sort of a box um, it's got a really really good size um, heat shrink in there all clear but it's not really an ESC or anything like that um, this one here I find is a great one for like receivers and that kind of thing so what I was going to do is going to open up you've got a few different sizes there uh, so I'll try and hold each one of these up so you can see the difference so this one here now, what I use this one for, I think it's an awesome, awesome size. Um, I use it for my um, my receiver antennas. So I actually, I actually don't heat shrink this onto my antennas. I actually just leave them like that because what you don't want to do is if you're flying and uh, you don't want to, you want to, and you crash, you don't actually want to break this tip off. That tip there is is quite an important part on, on both of them. So if you break them off, say, halfway, your actual signal to your controller is going to be affected and you definitely are not, are not going to be um, be able to go as far as you should. So you're going to fail safe 100%. So well, I put this on. Once my receiver is connected into my quad, uh, I'll see I've got one here actually, uh, which I've started. You actually, if you can see it here, I have, uh, I've got it on here. Uh, what it, that's how I have it when it when I before I hook it up to my uh, my zip tie, I have it like that. Then I'll have a zip tie, and then I'll get another one of these thicker parts and put over the zip tie, and then I'll heat shrink that part. So uh, that way, that tip is always protected. So that's this this kit is fantastic for that. So. Um, I would say that that's a receiver size tube. That first one, I don't know. It looks like it's maybe 1.5 mil or something like that. So it, it's a great size and um, perfect for your antenna. So then you keep going up to the next one. The next one, the next one's obviously you're looking at maybe three mil now, uh, and it, it's it's a really good size one as well. Um, depending on what you want to do, that's the one I slip over my uh, my small uh, zip tie zip tie one so I would slip that over that and then I can actually slide my receiver antenna up and in, up and on the inside like so that's if you don't want to use a smaller one and you can heat shrink it to that and it works out beautiful so awesome size that again and that way they keep jumping up in sizes so depending on the size zip tie you're going to use uh, yeah it works great uh, so then they, yeah they keep going up you got a Oh, I suppose there's, there's just a heap of different sizes here. I'll just grab them all out so you can see the, the size difference. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different sizes. So that's this is them all. I'll try and get them in order so you can you can see. And that one, that one, and that one. Right, so it's a little bit tricky to, to show you all the all of them at once, but that's um that's the different sizes there and now they they are all definitely an awesome size to have in your in your kit i've got heaps of other different sizes as well in color uh and they're good they're definitely good as well for like obviously when you're doing your builds and that kind of thing so um you know moving forward here the one i wanted to actually show you was this one here so this is sort of like um gonna try and show you why what why I wanted to make this video now now this is your obviously your receiver uh, now you don't want your plug to slowly come undone and then pop off so the trick trick to it is you get your heat shrink out of the ATFPV box you slip it over and when you slip it over you want to go past your actual connector probably say two mil and you want to go past your antenna say two mil so what you do get it out i'll just put it on top of the box so i'm going to put it there chuck this on here too so i get my right length then i mark it 
make sure I get it exactly how I want. Two mil there, two mil overhang, and then I'm going to mark it. So just like that. Okay, so then I'll cut it straight, nice and square. So cut it nice and square. All right, so we're going to slide that over the receiver. Okay. So this is, this is you can do this once you bound, once you soldered it to the quad, however you want to do it. But I know that receiver's mint because I've tested it out today on a quad. Um, so that's it there. So you want to grab your heat gun or lighter or whatever you want to want to use. And we're just going to heat shrink it down. And I'll show you what, what'll, what will actually happen. Like sometimes on my receivers, I chuck conformal coating as well. You can also get that from ATFPV and uh, it works really, really well. It, you don't want to put too much on your components. So because I have tried, I've done that before and I can get underneath some components and cause issues. So you don't, you don't want to be too slap happy with it. And what, what it is, it's actually a product that is like waterproofing. It puts silicon over the board. So stop water, water, say beads off it. So if you land in a dam or you land or it's raining or something like that, uh, you're not gonna have, have that issue. Right, so this is coming together pretty darn good. To get all the sides, get everywhere. All right, so. So now that my receiver and my heat shrink's done, my, my air was on really slow then. I don't know if I probably should have turned it up. But All right, so that's it there. So you've got a little bit over the end, and what that does, that actually holds your um, antennas in place, and they're not going to go popping off. And also, it's come around and hugged your, uh, your connector tight as well, so that way it's not going to pull off on you mid-flight and you lose your quad. So that's just a little tip, and um, this, this kit has um, the awesome the awesome sizes you need um, to make your FPV build so much more better and uh, and it's really user friendly so I'll yeah then I will go and put them on on here I don't heat shrink these down or mainly what they are for is is so that I don't damage this tip because it's so thin and it breaks off where that um, where the black I don't know if it's a heat shrink or it's just a black coating or what it is, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, because it, it's got um, this clear tubing uh, it's, and it's got like a, a wire center and then it's got uh, a, like a, another earth um, around the outside and then it's got like a black heat shrink kind of outer coating, plastic, whatever it is. So, And that just stops that from getting beat around or blown around the wind and, and getting damaged. So that's an awesome little idea. And I just thought I'd sh share that with you guys. So it's Dan Lyle from Free All Flyers here. Hope you enjoyed that little video on how to put heat shrink over your uh, receiver. This is a RXSR, so it's very nice and small for my Tyrannus. And um, hope you guys get out and go flying. All right, happy flying.